Hey, what is up guys? It is Silverson here. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my review on the Dragon Ball Super episode 43. Alright, so basically this episode starts off with pretty much Goku just like flying around, you know, using his key and whatnot, but apparently his key kind of runs out and it's just like really messed up. He can't fly correctly, he can't teleport correctly, but I did like the scene where he did teleport and whatnot around here. He actually met Arale, and he pretty much just, like, teleported to, like, Corrin's tower and whatnot, and then Vegeta's house, which was kind of funny, because he saw, like, Bulma and, like, Vegeta and stuff like that, and he had all these robots and stuff, and then he just pretty much teleported out, but pretty much he was trying to get to Northern Kai, and pretty much when he did, he pretty much told him that, um, his keys really messed up after, you know, he's using the Kyle Kent times 10 with the Super Saiyan Blue, so pretty much he has to you know, rest up at the moment. But basically, while that's going on, Gohan's pretty much having an interview with this professor guy, basically, and pretty much he, um, he gets a call from, um, his dad, Goku, and pretty much he's just saying, like, oh, can you watch Pan for me for a while, you know, because this interview may take a minute and whatnot. He's going to be there for, like, a while. And so pretty much Piccolo was pretty much babysitting him, her at first, but then, you know, since Goku kind of fill in, he pretty much lets him babysit, and then while that's going on, pretty much the Pilaf gang are there, and they're pretty much trying to find another way to sort of sabotage Goku in some way. So, basically, Piccolo doesn't leave and leave it up to Goku. They pretty much both start babysitting Pan, and pretty much from there, they're kind of just, like, hanging out with her, you know, having these pretty cool moments together and whatnot. They're, like, up on the rooftop, and pretty much... Um, Goku's just playing with her, but pretty much she keeps calling him Papa instead of Gramps, like Goku wants her to, but, yeah, and then pretty much she, like, wants to, like, um, go up into the sky and went on to fly, but then Goku's like, he can't because, you know, the key thing, but it was a really nice scene, nonetheless, but pretty much, um, while everyone's asleep and whatnot, the next day, the Pilaf gang kind of go in, but then before they do, they kind of, like, run away along with Pan, but pretty much, um, their ship kind of, like, messes up because, because Pilaf pretty much breaks it, and then so, they start flying out of control, and while that's going on, pretty much Goku, Piccolo, and Chi-Chi, and Goten are pretty much looking for Pan, but they can't find her anywhere, and then pretty much Goku's just thinking back to the other night when they were hanging out on the rooftop and whatnot, and then pretty much he's just, like, wondering where she is and whatnot, and then we go back to her, where she's pretty much just, like, in the spaceship, they're up in space at this point, but pretty much what happens is she gets kind of excited, I guess, and then she pretty much flies out of the spaceship and starts, like, flying around, or, I'm not gonna say, like, in space, but, like, at least close, you know what I mean, so, something like in Battle of Gods, where Goku and Beerus were, it's somewhere around there, but pretty much she starts flying around, and as she heads back to Earth, she pretty much drops the peel-off gang, and, like, a bunch of trees and whatnot, they're pretty much just gonna call it a day from there, but pretty much she flies around, and then, basically, Gohan and, um, Vajel get home, and pretty much, they don't, like, Goku and the rest of them, they don't really know what happened, they just assumed that she was, like, hiding in a closet or, like, somewhere else, but pretty much Gohan just said, like, she's been doing that a lot, you know, like, hiding places and whatnot, but, Pretty much, um, by the end of it, she actually does call Goku Gramps and pretty much say this end on that note. But I thought this episode was pretty alright. I mean, like, nothing really too much interesting. I mean, like, it was good, like, you know, in terms of character development and, you know, all the moments and whatnot was really good. It was a good episode, in my opinion. But tell me what you guys thought of this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think it was a little too much filler or... Or did you guys think it was just a nice, you know, kind of chill episode, you know, nothing really too important or anything like that. But pretty much that's about it for me, guys. And until the next one, Silver Sun is out.